Hello, welcome back to Sacred Vapes, a channel that aims to bring you the views and experiences of the products in the market today, brought to you by an average vapor. Now this week I've decided to bring something a little bit special. I was going to do it next week, but I've pushed it back a week, so I wanted to bring it to you, because it's a very polarising product from my experience. It's this, the Vupu X217 mod. Now, this was actually announced from what I can see back in April last year. That's the first mention I managed to find of it when they first announced it back in December. So, it took them 11 months to go from launch to actual getting it on the shelves. So, you would imagine a lot of work's gone into this. It's a collaboration between Woody X and Vupu. So, yeah, I think the idea behind it was to make something a little bit more special. But, before we get into all that, let's give her a vape. Now, we'll get into the details first of what's in the box. That's what the packaging looks like. It's your typical Vupu packaging. Thankfully, this time... It's, you can actually tell what's on the front of the box. Last time with the Drag 2, it just said Drag. I actually thought I'd got the Drag 1 for a moment. But yeah, I say you get the social media stuff on the side. And on the back you've got contents, warnings, scratch card, the works. And QR code on that side. Get the box open. Now that's where your mod will be. It came in a little, I don't know, little plastic type bag. So that, that seems to be the norm for mods now. So just for that little bit of added protection. Let's get the box open. It's very tightly in there. So once you get under there, you have a booklet. Which is a user manual. Yeah, and then... You have all these little boxes, so, yeah, oh, dropped it, <laughs> you have USB cable, also have the silicon packs in there if you can see, um, in this one you get battery adapter, and in the other one you get battery adapter. So, we'll get into the details of the mod itself now. What it is, it's a 200 watt mod. To show you guys, once it goes up. Right. Sorry, tell light 217. If you can see that. 217 watt device. It's compatible with 21700, 2700. And 18650s with the battery adapters. Just turn it back down again. <laughs> it's a. Uh, right. Right. So, that's what the mod looks like. So, you've got lights going down the side, screen, fire button on the top. Let's flip her over. You get resin strip on the back because foo poo. Well, have to include resin on everything. Now, the bottom battery clasp. It's kind of like a magnetic one, if I can just show you. Clip. And there you go, batteries inside. And then, that just fastens. It's kind of like a connection and a magnet connection at the same time, which is quite a good idea. But yeah, get her open again. It's got... I'd say it's room for up to about 30 millimeters on top, which is quite impressive. I mean, it is a big mod, if I'm being honest, but um, yeah, I so say you get front USB port for firmware upgrades, and yeah, that's about it for the general sense. We'll get into the menu now, and three clicks, changes to temperature control. Now, to change your temperature, you hold the plus and the minus buttons. Takes you into a menu. So you've got select coil. Which 
gives you a choice of stainless steel, nickel, titanium. You've got select setting TCR. Adjust resistance. Temperature select, which is more of a memory mode. Adjust power. You can set the manual power on temperature. Adjust unit, which is, to show you, that's the Fahrenheit or degrees, and then quit at the bottom. Three clicks again, takes you to function. Now again, hold the buttons in, takes you into, you've got lock menu, which just lets you lock the device. Clock select, which shows you the manual time. It's a little bit weird this. You have a brightness option. I mean mine's set default to five still. LED select, you can select the colours down the sides. Which um you've got seven colours, red, green, blue, and off. Wallpaper select, you have a choice of wallpapers. Which I didn't know at first, if I'm being honest. Let's go with the woods. Language select, which currently is only English and Chinese. I won't put that on just in case I put it back into Chinese again. <laughs> time settings, that's a digital time. That's what's weird about it. There's two different time settings. Um, date settings, you can change the date. System version at the bottom, which obviously mine's the first one. And quit. And that's it. So go back into power mode. And yeah, if you hold the buttons in there, on the power mode, you get power mode, which is, the, for the lights, from what I can tell, pulse mode 1, which changes the way the lights light up. Select power, again, is a memory section. Volt mode, which you can turn on and off, and then that's it. And that's pretty much how the mod works. So we'll get into the pros and cons of this now. Honestly, my experience with this mod, as I said at the start, it's been quite polarising in the sense that it's, it's a fantastically crafted mod, but it seems to hold itself back, if that makes sense. So, the first pro for me is going to be the design on this. It looks and feels absolutely incredible. It really does. I mean, that's fully metallic. You know, it's heavy. I will give it that. It's heavy. But it feels nice and comfortable in the hand. It's well, You can tell a lot of work's gone into this to make something that looks special. I mean, not that many people have mentioned this, but it almost reminds me of like an SX Mini type design. You know, the DNA mods. They've kind of gone for that look. Obviously, it's not a, it doesn't look as fancy, but yeah, similar design, similar profile. So yeah, designing this is fantastic. The fact that it fits up to 30 millimeters on top easily with a centered 510 pin, fantastic. It's got the menu system. Now, the menu system is good once you work it out. I mean, I'll admit, I said it in the live for the giveaway last week, that for the first week or so, I hadn't figured even out how to get into it. So, that, <laughs> once you figure it out, it, everything's nice and easy, but, you know, there's no, there's no, like, easy access to it without if you don't know um i love the lights on it you know i'm a sucker for lights i'm a big fan of them um the magnetic bottom love that you know it's so easy nice and simple you know there's no even lock locking mechanism as such push it close and that's sorted um yeah it, it's just nice and easy. It feels accurate. You know, I've been using something else this week when for a day or two, and I could tell the power difference. So this is definitely spot on. The fact that it's compatible with all the different types of batteries is a pro. We'll give it that. And yeah, battery life on this is a pro. A little bit, <laughs> which I'll get into. But the battery life's good. It, it outlasts the drag too. I'd say easily 
I wouldn't say two days, but it does last about a day and a half. I mean, if I put the batteries in, um, say Monday morning, I, I put fresh batteries in, go to work, chances are they'll die Tuesday afternoon. So to give you a rough idea of what sort of battery life where it's something like the Drag 2, what the batteries would die, say, mid-morning for me. So it's not like a major difference, but it is getting a bit more power out of the 21700s I'm using. And yeah, I love the little clock screen saver. I've just turned it off so I can't show you. Uh, but it, the screen does time out. Just hoping it does. No, it's not timing out. So, yeah. The, overall, I mean, it's nice and comfortable, as I say. That fire button's there, natural. I didn't mention what's on the screen. You get battery indicators there at the top. And in the bottom, you've got puff counter. I'm assuming that puff counter is, well, I'm assuming that is the puff counter. It's set at 1,653. So that's how much I've been using this. Probably would have been higher if I had another set of bloody 21700s. Um, it's got fire time, which is 2.44 seconds, ohm resistance, and volt. And the other thing I will mention is that it comes with your typical Vupu. So there you go. Just show you. Say no atomizer. And then when you're at the top of it, and screw it on, it'll ask you if it's a new tank or not. Plus and minus. So, yeah, that's the pretty much the pros of this. Sorry I rambled a little bit. Get into the cons of it now. The first con for me... It's probably something you've heard mentioned by a lot of people. It's going to be this. The battery rattle. I don't know why there's a battery rattle. It's it's something so simple. I mean, people have been mentioning, oh, put some tape around your battery, isn't it? be fine. You shouldn't have to fix it. You know, if you're buying something, especially 50, 60 pounds, you shouldn't really be fixing that. So, not a big fan of that. Um... One question I will prove on video is whether these rattle inside. So, let me just figure them out. I haven't actually used them yet. Here we go. Plus and minus. So, plus there. Minus there. Question is, does it rattle with the, with the battery adapters? Yes. There you go. <laughs> I just wanted, rather than say it, I just wanted to show you guys. Yeah, it, it does, no matter what, it does rattle. And the thing I've mentioned, you can put tape around the batteries, but it can be difficult to get them out afterwards, which obviously is not a good thing. Something else that I do like, actually, is the fact that if you replace the batteries with the device on, it will power straight on. But if you don't... If you turn it off, then it won't come back on. You have to then the five clicks to turn it on. Um, yeah. So next con for me, after the battery rattle, is the battery indicators. Now, I've done this review purposely because if you actually look, oh, there's the clock. <laughs> I knew it was going to come on. If you look at the top there, the battery indicators, that they're pretty much full. They're about I don't know, they're about at about 80%. When I took these batteries off charge before I wanted to do this video, they were actually at 50% according to my charger. So the battery indicator on this is actually very inaccurate. They need to fix it through a firmware, definitely. Because it gets down to about halfway. I mean, the first time I took this out, the battery indicators were about halfway and... Yeah, I actually thought, my God, this battery life's incredible. And then within half an hour, it was dead. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why. And it's that battery indicator. It's massively inaccurate now. It's not showing you the full life of the batteries. They do need to fix that. Next con, I mean, this isn't for me, but it may be for one of you guys, is that it's a little bit heavy. It is it is bigger device. It is a heavier device. But... You know, if you don't like a heavy device in your pocket or in your hand, this isn't going to be for you. Um, 
other cons? Um, I can't really think of any. In the general sense, the mod works really well. It's just them um, issues relating to the battery that really hold it back for me. So, we'll get into the overall of this now. And overall, it is quite a fancy mod. I will give it that. It's a very fancy mod. It's one of these mods that, if you're going to be buying it, you're going to be buying it on aesthetics alone, rather than performance. I think if you want the absolute performance out of a mod, and you like this sort of design, you're going to go for something like the Drag 2. I mean, I know it doesn't look the same, but same company, you get what I mean. It's That's going to give you much better performance and simplicity when something like this is designed to be fancy it's powered by the i was going to say g chip is it I, the name escapes me I, which is a little bit gene chip not g chip gene chip <laughs> it's powered by the gene chip so you know you're getting a very very good performance out of this you know the gene chips still probably one of the best chipsets on the market underneath obviously the dna and the yee ones so you're getting a very, very good mod here. If you can deal with the battery rattle. That's the only thing I can say about it. Uh, but, yeah. Would I recommend this? I'd say yes. If you are okay with the battery rattle. I'm going to say that because it it is one of them issues that if you can't get past it, you won't enjoy using it. I mean, I did find over a while the battery rattle does reduce a little bit. But there is that motion when you're turning it as you can see you won't be able to hear that but if there is a little bit of motion there so yeah price point on something like this now it's around 50 pounds for the mod which isn't too bad i've seen them get starting to hit the uk stores for about 45 so 45 to 55 pounds seems to be a standard price and I know you can get them with the new force 2 tank t2 tank but there is a new I, I did notice they've just announced a new tank so it might just be worth waiting for that I mean obviously I don't know anything about it yet other than the name but yeah as always thank you for watching I really appreciate it sorry if this video was a bit of a ramble uh, <laughs> I, just a way in recording it it's, it's hard to gauge time at the minute um uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Drop a link to the Facebook group below. You get joined in, get all the latest updates for the channel. Next week, next week I may be bringing you this. If you can guess what that is, uh, it's been out for a week, so give it another week to see how it gets on. Um, I've got a juice review coming as well, which you should look out for. But yeah. As always, stay, stay safe. And keep vaping.